Hi, welcome to Online at St Andrews for the 11th of June. It's really good that you can join us today. I'm obviously filming this from my garden. I wish you could look around to see that I've tried really hard this year to make my garden more bee friendly. I've planted all the plants and the seeds that say bee friendly on them because I know it's really important that the bees are cared for. And yet I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with bumblebees. I love what they do. I'm just not quite so keen on them being around me. I'm trying really hard though. I've even got one of these stuffed bumblebees. I take it into school. It's one of the things that I use quite often with children when we talk about what kind of characters we should be. Be kind, be caring, be thankful, be thoughtful, be truthful. So my bumblebee goes with me, a lovely cute little bumblebee. The ones in my garden aren't quite so cute and I have to try really hard to be brave. But I do love what they do. Love is in our Bible passage today. I'm going to read a passage from John today. And it's all about love and the commandment to love. Jesus said, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command. Love each other. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so it really is quite hard, isn't it, to love everyone. There are people that I find quite hard to really like very much, particularly people who do things that are really not appropriate. But I guess it's important that I should still love them. It's hard to love sometimes. And so our prayer today reminds us of that. I'd love us to join in our prayer together. I'm gonna to light the candle, it's gonna be quite hard to see it. It's the shape today of a flower. Let's join together in a short prayer. Father God, thank you that you love us unconditionally. Help us to love others even when it's hard, even when it hurts. Help us to bear fruit in your name. Amen. And so as we listen to a song that talks about love, the importance of love and loving everyone the way the Lord Jesus commanded us to, Maybe we can find it in our hearts to try a little bit harder to love everyone this week, just as our Lord commanded us. Amen. All the room was hushed and still.
is what I'm asking you to do. This is why I'm leaving here beside you. This is what I want my church to be. This is what I 